You are the wide, wide angle, angle lens today. I'm on the way over here now. You can see everything. My goodness, the whole set. Welcome to Ready Set Show. Today we're answering the question: What happens if you thick everything? <laughs> it's the thick, the thickening. The thick episode. We're gonna get thick today. I'm Trevor. That's Jeremy. Jeremy. Hi. Let's just let's here's just the get thing. to it. All right. All right. Simply thick. <laughs> all right. So coming up with ideas for Ready Set Show is is never the easiest thing. But every now and again. Something will just fall right in our laps. And uh, this is one of those times. Yes, uh, we got sent a letter from a fan from Jacob Vorland. So thank you very much, Jacob, yes, who has much. a very noble profession. Uh, they work as a food prep and diet specialist for adults with severe mental and physical handicaps. Right. So thank you very much. Some of said handicaps involve using this uh, instant food thickener because yes. sometimes you can't swallow uh, liquid foods and things like that. So this is used to thicken up liquidated Foods, drinks, right? People like that, that have difficulty swallowing liquids because it might go down the wrong pipe for any reasons. Uh, Jacob has suggested some things for us to try, and, and we have some of our own as well. Yes. So um, really, we're just yeah. here to answer the question: What happens when I thicken water? Can I make water pudding? <laughs> so we're gonna start with water. Uh, that's what I want. Water is dive honestly. Right into. Uh, water's what I'm most nervous about. Let's do like. Oh gosh. Ew, you can really see the color of it in water because it's just clear. Water has no flavor of its own. And this thickening agent, it's not like it doesn't have a smell, because it does. All right, all right, you gotta calm down over there. Yours is gonna be- Oh, it's thick. It's that thick water. You might even want to do another- Oh no! <laughs> oh, it's like oh, snot. It is like hand sanitizer. <laughs> it's a spoonful of water. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yours, oh. Who ooh, wants some okay. water pudding? Take a spoonful of this take water. take a spoonful of it? I'll take a spoonful of water. Here we go. Oh, do we have any palate cleansers? <sighs> yeah, it's got a, it's got a taste. It's got a taste. It's got a- It's soap. not flavorless. There's bubbles in it. See, you're having it too. There's bubbles, but they don't yeah. move. They are forever bubbles. It looks like you're looking into space. <sighs> are we gonna, do the thick. Mountain thick. Just yeah. try to get the water off my spoon. You know how it is. I can feel it thickening up down there. Thick carbonation. That sounds cool though. It is, yeah. It's like it's the future. Come on, that's like I oh. that's like I sneezed on a spoon, except a lot more. Look at this, ready? Oh yeah. <laughs> no? <laughs> no, not for you. Mm. I can still taste it's like it's kinda like plastic, this stuff. I don't know, not that I've eaten plastic before, Ooh, but it has- That's a, interesting. It's very foamy, very sudsy. It's like if you took a bubble bath and and then took a scoop and ate that. I like this. I really don't. It, mm. Consistency is a thing for me. That's not going in any theater. So maybe we need to. to try a drink that isn't carbonated. So this is Capri Sun, you know, a kid's drink the right here. The taste you can see. But since it's uh, the thick version, I'm calling this uh, Stretch Pants Sun. Oh, so there we I go. gotcha. Like, uh, <sighs> Now here's the thing. So with this, this looks like less than four uh, ounces. So I'm gonna put half of it on the table. Yeah. Oh, it's it thick smells enough. good. That's cool. Yeah. Look at that. This one looks cool. It's like a galaxy in there. Look at them. Mmm. 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 Come on. That's good. That is good. What do we call this? Stretch pants, son. I'll take stretch pants, son. <laughs> I'll take that. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for some thickle juice. And uh... <laughs> two C's. Every time pickle juice comes out, I go. I can handle this, all right? It's just, a, and every time it hits my tongue, I retch. We could be onto something we here. We might be, no, no. Pickles are starting to get into more foods. Uh, Sonic had a pickle yeah, slushy. they're starting to ruin more things, okay? Uh, Sonic <laughs> had a pickle slushy for a little while. Battle it out in the comments while we stir this up. Do pickles belong in food or at all? Do they belong? Uh, my answer is no. Oh man. Can you see? It's Jello. It is Jello. It's pickle Jello. It's pickle come jello. all the way around to a, a realm where it really Woo! doesn't belong. Oh man! Mmm. <coughs> the good thing about the thickness oh. is it like pulls it all down with it. This is something amazing. What is wrong with you? What we've done. I'm gonna cancel this show. We have achieved. We can't work together anymore. We have. This is the closest we've ever come to brandishing the name Achievement Hunter wisely. Because we've achieved something here. I don't know what it That's is. Like a, you can make that like a ketchup or something. Yeah, dollop of this on a burger? A relish Hell yeah. That's a relish replacement? Oh. It's relish with a kick. It's, it's got the bite of pickles. Yeah. That's, dude. hell yeah. So, you wanna do that? 
soy sauce. What if this becomes the next orange chicken? This is like a scoop of salt pudding. This looks and smells exactly like Marmite. Exactly. Ah, this that is, is Marmite. Dude, this is how they make Marmite. It's not at all. What we've done here <laughs> is made something that has never and should never exist. Ha <laughs> ha! Whoa, <coughs> it's pungent. Oh gosh. You know what? You know what? It's not bad. It's not bad. I know our face is saying it's bad, but it's not bad. It, it, it's so bad. You know what it did? No, it's actually pretty good. It's so bad, <laughs> it went down to my stomach, said, what's up, thickle juice? All of it came back, danced around, and I swallowed it again. What if you like dip chicken nuggets in it? Yeah, no, dude. Ah, ah, this, bleh. oh, oh, it makes you feel alive to eat this. Wow! It certainly reminds me that I'm living. Yes. Woo! We had a theory about this. Yeah! My theory is that it will just become chocolate pudding. We're gonna make chocolate pudding using chocolate syrup and thickener. Trevor, I'm gonna make it feel better. Yeah? Just smell that. Oh. Take yourself. Hey, hey, sample the wares. It's okay. It looks like brownie batter. <gasps> See what I mean? Oh, come on. That is the good stuff. This is gonna be good. Yeah, mm, mm, mm. it's it's Fair. it's weird because when you like when you kind of chomp down on it, the bubbles almost like like a micro crunch. Now here's the thing, barbecue sauce is it's already got a sweetness to it, but it's also got a little kick. Barbecue is a strong flavor. Oh look at that! Now okay. How thick do we want this? I think we want pudding. We want yeah. like a barbecue pudding. Thick you know, I was gonna no. get barbecue for dinner tonight, and this might ruin. <laughs> You know, I was gonna eat anything tonight, and I think all of this has just ruined me. For you know what? Like, you're gonna be coughing up thickle juice deep into the midnight hours. Thickle juice. Dreaming it's, of thickle. <laughs> it's too good of a name. <laughs> you could slather a cake with this. It looks like applesauce, kind of like, like if you've ever had that cinnamon applesauce or something like that, where it's like colored because it's got the different flavors in it. That's what this is. That it, is. I said the secret word on figure it out and I got slimed with barbecue sauce. Look at that. It doesn't move. Look at that. Things shouldn't be thick. It's like a good spice on it. It's a good flavor. It's just the it's consistency is ugh. I actually kind of like the consistency. Yeah, you got a problem. You've been liking all of these things and I think that there's something to be said there. <laughs> Jeremy likes I it. like things. Jeremy likes it thick. I like thick. I like thick, man. Uh. The more C's, the better. Milk in a bowl and then cereal, or cereal in a bowl and then milk. The correct answer, cereal first. Cereal first, right. right? But we know some crazy people, Lindsay, that put the milk in first and the cereal on top of it. Here, I'll do the opposite. Oh, you wanna do the opposite? Mine will be like, you'll do it normal. It was on top, yeah. like a dollop. Uh -huh. uh, and then mine will be like an ice cream base with the accoutrement like sprinkled on top. Thing is, milk has obviously a flavor but it's not gonna be a strong enough flavor to overcome that. So it's really gonna be on the cereal to pull this one around. Oh, oh no. Oh. It, looks, <laughs> it looks like a sour cream or like a like the ice cream started to melt on the edges of the cup, is what it looks like. You think like. it looks like sour cream? <laughs> How's, the, how's the filth coming along? I don't like the- What, what consistency that's are That's ruining the product I think it should me. just be milk, but we understand that there's two C's. Milk, M-I-L-C-C. -C. Hey honey, I made you your favorite. A bowl of milk. Cinnamon Toast Crunch and milk. <laughs> just a big bowl of milk. You need your strength if you're going to do your test. You need your milk. Pour me a nice solid base. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that looks like glue. It's, oh, oh, look at that. That looks good though. Look at that. That's like some Greek yogurt and granola. And that's what I'm gonna be thinking about. <laughs> that's how you wanna get your milk out. <laughs> is patting it at the back. Mm -hmm. And then your kids come down for breakfast. Time for some cereal, son. Is there even cereal in there? I don't. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> is that just Time a bowl? Time to eat your cereal, wake this up! This could just be a bowl of milk. Oh! oh. <laughs> as far as we know. 
But no, there's a treasure trove of cereal underneath this. Yeah, mine's like, uh, I mixed mayonnaise with okay. a cereal. Ready? Oh yeah. I want a good bite here. Wait a minute. Hold on. Am I wrong? <laughs> hold the hold the horses. Why does it taste like butter to me? There we go. No, see, take that down. The subtle milk flavor canceled out to the subtle plastic it flavor. It depend on the cereal now, like. Yeah. Because the butteriness of the. It's the cereal so you're tasting. The cereal is the butteriness. It's the, it's the cereal taste. If you go heavy on the milk, then it really brings out the butteriness. I should stop eating this. No, you're hungry. Growing bowling. Once you get past the idea of it, it's a lot like eating yogurt with cinnamon toast crunch. Yeah, I, I, almost, I almost wish there was more flavor in the milk. -ka. Yeah, the milk wish... needs flavor. Is it thick enough that you can hold it upside down? No. Yeah. Oh, that's... <gasps> Oh, wow, magic trick. Oh, God. <laughs> that was our thickening episode there. That's like if you've ever wanted to eat glue, like if you had that morbid curiosity as a kid and now you want to safely eat glue. That's how to do it. We want to really, really thank Jacob again yeah. for sending that in. And if you want us to try other thick things, we have lemonade over here that we didn't get to. You know, there's a lot of things that we, we can thicken lemonade, up in this world. Lemonade, Gatorade, coconut water. We would love to revisit this if you guys like it. And as a reminder, oh God, it's, it's all <laughs> thick. Thick burbs. As now. a reminder, if you guys don't want to miss our episodes, make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell button. If you're on YouTube, uh, it notifies you every time that we post a video here on this channel. If you like the video, please hit that like. We're, we're not just saying, you know, hey, you just slap the like button, why not? Like, literally, if you enjoyed it, if you had fun, hit the like. It lets us know, it lets YouTube know that people like it. It's very important and it's yeah. great. Go argue about thickles down in the comments and we'll see you guys next Monday if you want to watch the show early on roosterteeth.com. Otherwise, we'll see you on Tuesday as we do every week. Till next time. Come on. This episode of Ready Set Show is brought to you by Muggsy Jeans. Muggsy Jeans are the most comfortable men's jeans ever made. The magic is in Muggsy's proprietary fabrics, which include a blend of high-tech materials that make these jeans feel soft and flexible. Best of all, Muggsy's come in a stylish fit that's not too baggy and it's not too tight. It's perfect. So do your legs a favor, grab your own pair of the jeans that are sweeping the nation by heading to Muggsy.com, that's M-U-G-S-Y.com, and use the code READYSET for $10 off. Again, that's Muggsy.com, use the code READYSET to get $10 off your pair of Muggsy jeans. And support the show. If you like seeing this thickle juice here, yeah. then uh, I highly recommend you check out the time that we carbonated pickle juice. <gasps> uh, we carbonated a bunch of maybe, things. Maybe it's right here. Yeah, click on that over yeah. there. Uh, or if you want to see why we had some Cinnamon Toast Crunch lying around, make sure to check out our cereal bowl episode uh, and watch us rate some cereals.